this week you were taken on a simulation ride. Hope you enjoyed it. Take a quick look at what you have encountered during your ride. Models are artificial representation of real situations. There may be different forms of models depending on the type of situation and environment. For example, engineers study engineering models, architects study architectural models, computer scientists study network models, similarly economists study economic models. But you need not panic, life is possible even without using models. It is just that models may be used as sophisticated instruments for looking at the world in a different way. Models give a simplified version of a complex world. They present scattered information in a systematic, scientific and organized manner. They help researchers to forecast and see the future and assist them to take wise decisions. They also save time, money and energy. Economic models may be diagrammatic, graphical or mathematical. Mathematical economic models have three components variables, intercepts or constants and slopes. Slopes generally represent the elasticity, component of elasticity or propensity. Mathematical economic models may have three different types of equations definitional, behavioral and equilibrium. In order to construct mathematical economic models, there are some basic tools that may help. Knowledge of the economic variables and their functional characteristics. Knowledge of the different types of graphs and equations. Linear models are widely used as they are simple to understand and easy to analyze. Once you master the basic concepts of constructing economic models, you will be in a position to express any statement or situation around you mathematically. Try to explore the world around you and use your knowledge to express the statements and the situations and give a mathematical form. By doing so, you will not only learn how to look at the world differently, but also make your life interesting to live. See you next week. Till then, enjoy life and keep learning.